Hi, I'm Rachel. And so am I. And welcome to Fun Day Sunday, Sunday Kids. Kids. Rach? What are you doing in this cupboard? It's the only place that I get a bit of peace and quiet around here. I'm trying to practice some solitude, have some time with God on my ah. own. So ah. Rach, we're talking about solitude at Funday Sunday Kids. You're not meant to be doing it right now. We're meant to be telling the guys at home about it. Goodness me. Get back in your Sorry, cupboard guys. later on. I don't know. It's either that or on the toilet in this building. <laughs> No peace. The toilet is a great place to have some solitude. You might be thinking, what is solitude? Well, that is what we are looking back at, to, well, looking at today, isn't it? With the Lent experience that we started last week with what, Rach? Fasting. Yep. And today's one is all about solitude. But I have a question for you guys at home first. How did your challenge go? <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, to fast something for an hour or a day it was, whether it was food, or your game, or your phone, or whatever, tell us how it went, right? Don't you write in the comments, or email us, the email on screen, and tell us how your challenge went. But first we have got our something fun! Woohoo! And what is that today, Rach? Today, we are going to do the lip sync battle! Yes! I think this is one of our favourite ones to do, isn't it? Yes. We hope that it's as fun as it is to play, as it is to watch at home, because we do it so often. But, shall we go get ready to do that? Yes! Here we are at our lip sync battle for our Yay. something fun today. I'm not feeling very confident. I think Rach is going to win. I don't know, because you've you said this, although you kept saying that like you had to, your dad was deaf pretty much, wasn't he? Yeah. So you're like, you're good at lip sync reading, and I'm not. So, <laughs> I think you could definitely still win. Well, we will, we'll have to see. Yes, so, shall, Rach is going first, with the music in her ear, shall I press play on that for you, so we can hear it. Well, you have to put your thumb up when you start. <laughs> so she can't hear me, that's good. I was trying to see if she can hear me. Ready? Right, five, four, three, two, one. I smell of sweaty socks. <laughs> no. I haven't got a clue. Little 
crabs. Holy <laughs> Time up. Okay, you get that one. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Did you see? Did you see? Did you see? I believe. <laughs> did, did you see? I believe in Jesus. <laughs> did you see the pig fly across the sky? Eh? Did you see the pig fly across the sky? Do you believe? <laughs> Did you see? Time up! Time! Time! Oh no! <laughs> Next one! Last one! Okay! They're long! It's too long these! <laughs> right Aldi, listen! Look! Today. Well, uh, Rach, uh, not you, the other Rach, um, not you, Rach, told me that we were doing something about um, solid, solid tunes or something. <laughs> Solitude by any chance? That was it. Yeah. Solitude. Uh, and, and I just was like, well, what's that? <laughs> well, Jess, simply put, that's when we spend some time on our own. Do you like spending time on your own? Well, sometimes, but then I can get lonely. What she said, she said last week we talked about fasting, yeah. and then this week was about solitude. Yeah, well, so do you remember last week we, we talked about how when we fast, it's a way to bring us closer to God? Yes. So... That's what it's about this time, so we're spending some time on our own, but with God. Mm. So how cool is that? Because then you wouldn't get lonely. 
Yeah, I suppose so, but like I spend a lot of time on my own because I'm an only child and so I don't really have anyone to play with at home when mum and dad are busy, so I'm on my own all the time. Yes, but do you intentionally, do you on purpose sit and spend some time talking to God or do you play on your phone or on the computer or do you watch the telly or listen to music? I put music on yeah. and I dance around and I play with my toys. Mm. So when we're talking about solitude, we're talking about spending some time in the quiet on our own mm. and spending time talking to God and praying to God. So and no phone? No, no phone. No music? No, no music. No toys? No, because you know what? Quite often mm. we spend time talking to God, but we don't always spend time waiting to hear what he's going to say back. But when we turn the music off and all the noise off, we can we give ourselves more of a chance to get close to him and to hear him. Even oh, Jesus spent yeah. time on his own. So a bit like when my music's really, really loud and my mum shouts at me that dinner's ready and I don't hear her, so she has to come <laughs> all the way up the stairs to get me. Yeah, so sometimes God can tell us things and we don't hear it because we don't take the time to listen. Oh, and you just said Jesus did it. When did he do it? Well, there's loads of times in the Bible that talk about Jesus going and spending time on his own and the different oh. reasons why. But there's especially a time where he went up on a hill because he heard that his friend had died. Oh. So even Jesus was sad and needed some time away from other people. Have you ever needed some time away from people? Yeah. Yeah. So even Jesus did that, but then he heard, this is when he fed all them people with the fish and the bread. And he came back they down to do that. 4,000 yeah. people. Yeah, so he wow. came back down to do that, but even still, he went away to spend time on his own again, because he needed that time. Because do you know what it does when we spend time on our own with God, Jess? What? It makes us feel full again. So sometimes we can have done so many different things and feel tired oh. and empty and sometimes sad, depending on what's going on. But when we spend time with God, he can refresh us and refill us with his Holy Spirit. And when we hear him and he tells us things and, and gives us direction, mm -hmm. then we can think, yes, we can be full of fire and, and go out ready to hear what God, to do what God said. Amazing. So like Jesus went to be on his own yeah. and then from that place of being on his own with God in solitude, um, he then performed a really, really cool miracle. He did, he did. Maybe we could go and have a look. And, and see what they are. Yeah, that would be cool. Should we go and see? Yeah. Well, here we are. Here we are at the end of this episode again. I hope that you enjoyed that little chat with Jets. Yeah, that sounded like you had a really good time talking about solitude and being on our own and maybe even being silent a bit of the time so that we can hear God and become closer to him. Yeah, and it's so good to look through the examples throughout the Bible, see why Jesus did it, that actually Jesus spent some time on his own. Jesus grieved, Jesus went off because he'd done some hard work and he needed to have a rest. And he even encouraged his disciples to do the same. Jesus was in distress just before he was arrested and he knew what was gonna to happen to him, so he went onto the Mount of Olives just to spend some time on his own. Yeah. That really helped because in the busyness of life, mm. sometimes we can feel so overwhelmed and you just carry on being so busy, but even Jesus took himself away to spend some time with God. And if it's good enough for Jesus, then it's good, good enough, enough for, for us. us. So, this week's challenge for you guys at home, remember, don't think we forgot, because we did it, uh, is to actually take some time this week. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain amount of time, but just take some time this week to not be on your phone, to not play with your toys, to not be on your games, to not be around anyone, maybe yeah. in your room, or as Reed said earlier, the toilet's a good spot. Yeah. Uh, and just actually spend some time listening to God. Yeah. We often spend time with God telling him everything that we need and want, but actually just sit and listen, because God wants to talk to you. Why don't you get ready with a pen and a notepad, and if God speaks to you about something, then you can write it down, and then you won't forget it either. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Well done, Rach. Well, I hope you have a good week. Enjoy this week of Lent, and we will see you next time. Bye! Are you off to your uh, cupboard again to be on your own? Oh, yeah. Well, I think I need the toilet, so I'm just going to follow my own advice. Oh, well, then I'll go to the cupboard. Okay, bye! Oh, 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 oh,